Hello, this is Javi Padi and this is a broadcast about forgiveness. If um, you're wondering who those uh, seriously wounded ones are, um, there is no particular person I have in mind, although I have been asked this question and have been, com have been asked to comment about this particular theme many times in uh, my own one-on-one -on -one, uh, encounter with people in my ministry, as well as some of you in, uh, in YouTube. Um, who have left messages uh, through this particular channel. So I'm going to address it because I think it's timely within the season of Lent. So this is Happy Party on Forgiveness. First of all, it is good to make a separation of two things. One, our emotions and to our desire to forgive. Um, the difficulty sometimes is most of our issues with inability to forgive are associated or come with um, very negative emotions like anger, um, frustration, disappointment, even sadness and sorrow. So because of these two things seem to always come together, it's almost difficult for us to um, disassociate them. But it's good to make a distinction, and the reason for this is because the emotions are human realities, and sometimes most of those things are beyond our control. We cannot control our emotions in the sense that, you know, if you are upset or disappointed about something, that you are disappointed, that's just how you feel, that is just your emotion in general. And you don't control those emotions, you acknowledge those. The desire to forgive, however, is an act of will. In other words, we can choose to desire the good of the other, um, even despite those emotions that we cannot choose and control. And uh, if we desire the good of the other, uh, then it becomes clear for us that that desire does not necessarily have to be conditioned by anger and frustration and disappointment and uh, sadness and sorrow. Second point, as a spiritual exercise, it is good to recall the times when we ourselves needed to be forgiven. This will allow us to have more sympathy and sympathize or empathize more with the person who is now in need of forgiveness. It allows us to be more compassionate to the person that is in need of forgiveness. Uh, when we imagine the times when we too needed to be forgiven and what that might have felt like when we also needed to be forgiven. Another important thing to remember about forgiveness is that forgiveness is not about the person that is in need of forgiveness, but rather forgiveness is about you who are called to forgive. The reason for this is because the person who has done the wrong thing or the person who has hurt you or the person who is in need of forgiveness, that person might very well have moved on in life and that person may very well not ready to acknowledge his or her fault. That person may not even come to you and ask for forgiveness. But it's not really about that particular person, it's about you because you are the one that's carrying the load. You are the one who feels weighed down by this very negative sort of spiritual condition that you are carrying. And that is not allowing you to grow spiritually. It's hampering your spirit. So what are you going to do about that? Are you going to continue to hold a grudge? Are you going to continue to wait for that person to ask for forgiveness? Are you going to continue to wait for that person to be sorrowful, to learn his lessons about whatever he has done, well, that is beyond your control. The only thing that's within your control is your attitude toward what you're carrying. Are you ready to not be a victim? Are you ready to let go of that load? If you are, then forgive.
it's also good to clarify that uh, you know this overused saying that goes to forgive is to forget um, I don't necessarily subscribe to that um, I don't think that they necessarily have to go hand in hand it's okay to forgive even if you don't forget and in fact I would say forgive and don't forget now forget the grudge forget that forget the the negativity and all the things that are not healthy for you but don't forget the experience the experience in itself is a, a life lesson that you will need to continue to carry with you uh, as there is a lot of wisdom that's learned from situations like that so I would say forgive forget the grudge remember the lessons very well And finally, as is the case with everything else in the universe, forgiveness is also primarily a gift from God. Forgiveness is possible only through the grace of God's love shining through us and empowering us to bring healing, peace, and reconciliation in our lives. And so today, I offer this blessing of peace, love, reconciliation, and forgiveness. You may forgive with your heart. And in this season of Lent, really experience the peace and joy that comes with freedom of not having to carry grudge and unforgiveness in our hearts. God bless you. And this is Happy Party on Forgiveness. <laughs>